everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do your do it division task. So you should have a task this week in front of you that looks like this, a do it sheet. And I don't have a fancy whiteboard like Miss McDonough, but I did find an old blackboard. So I'm going to show you on here, okay? So we're going to do the do it task first. So the first question says 15 divided by 5. Now the first thing you need to do is think about what this symbol means and we've spoken about it before in class that is the sharing symbol okay so to use to do this method we're going to use sharing circles so how many sharing circles do I need I need five I'm sharing 15 between five so I'm going to draw my five sharing circles one two three four Five, and I'm sharing out 15. I want to share them equally between the circles. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay? And you can see that there's the same amount in each sharing circle. So how many are in each one? Three. So 15 divided by five equals three. Let me show you another one. Let's have a go at 12 divided by 3. So how many sharing circles do I need? I need 3 because I'm sharing between 3 groups. 1, 2, 3. Keep your work nice and neat otherwise you could get confused. I'm sharing 12 between three, so I need to start putting them in equally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's the same amount in each circle. How many are in each circle? There are four. Twelve divided by three equals four. And because you're coming towards the end of year two now, if you feel like you can do this confidently with sharing circles, then have a go at counting in threes, or counting in fives, or twos, or tens, whatever number is here. Okay, so we're going to count in threes until we get to twelve. Three, six, nine, twelve, four. The answer is four. Okay, so once you get confident, you don't have to use the sharing circle method. Now at the bottom of your do it sheet, there is a challenge and it says, solve these multiplication problems with remainders. Now remainders is just a really fancy word for leftover, what's remaining, okay? So the first one we're going to look at is 13 divided by two. Now I'm going to draw my two sharing circles and I'm going to share out 13. And I know there's going to be some left over, there's going to be some remaining, because two is an even number, 13 is an odd number. So it's not going to share equally. So let's have a go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. If I put another one in here, this one's going to have more than this one. So I'm going to leave it out, okay? So that is my remaining one. That's the one that's left over. So how many are shared equally? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got one left over, one remaining. So I'm going to do a tiny R and then write one. Six, remainder one. Let me show you again. Let's have a go at 10 divided by three. Now I know, because I'm a really good mathematician, that 10 isn't in the three times table. So there's going to be some left over, there's going to be some remaining. So I'm going to show, show my three sharing circles. I'm going to share out 10 equally. One, two, three, four, five, ooh, six, seven, eight, nine. If I put another one in here, there's going to be too many in that one. It won't be equal. So I've got one left over, 10. So how many are in each? Three. One left over, remainder one. Okay. Don't forget to send us your work. We love seeing your working out. So send it to the year two email address.